Everyone knows that there is no shortcut to good health. Yes, that's true. We want you to be leisurely about good health. We want you to pay strict attention to it. We want you to visit your drugstore and shop there regularly for all of your health needs at your quality drugstore. Come with us through those magical doors to the gleaming interior of our drugstore. There on the counters and shelves of display. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again. I'm very happy that you allow me into your living rooms once more. You know, uh, television is pretty tough work. It's really hard on the actor, and in order for me to do it, in order for me to manage, I must conserve every bit of strength that I can. In other words, I have to make notes on my activities, you know, so that I don't do have any waste motion. Now, I'd like to read you a few notes that I made during the day of last week's television show. I have them right here. It says, uh, 10 o'clock, 8 breakfast. 10.15, woke up. <laughs> Made note to stop eating in my sleep. 10.30, got dressed. 10.45, got out of bed. 11.20, started reading fan mail. 11.21, finished reading fan mail. 12 o'clock, walked to rehearsal downtown. 12.02, passed beautiful girl who was walking uptown. 5.30, walking back downtown. 7.05, read opening jokes to producer. 7.15, woke up producer. 9 o'clock, start a television show. 9.01, told first joke. 9.59, got first laugh. 10 o'clock, got first aid. So you see what kind of a business this is. But we have a wonderful show for you tonight. I know you're going to enjoy it. We have that. This is really a kick, Bert, to have you back again. You were so good the last time. Look, you were only here a month ago. How is it you're back in town? Well, Jack, I'm back in town. I'm celebrating my 31st wedding anniversary. Now, wait a minute. You were only here a month ago, and you told me you were celebrating your 30th anniversary. We live a fast life, my wife. Oh, I see what you mean. Jack, I'm so happy to be back on this show. You know, the last time I was on the show, you did everything to make me a big hit. Oh, you were a smash hit. Every you time that I told a joke, the audience would scream. Yeah. Then you'd tell one, and they'd calm right down again. Do you remember? Look, you're not starting in, are you, pal? Huh? What kind of a show have you got tonight? Oh, we have a wonderful show. We started off by having the June Taylor dancers do a real wiggly rumba number. No kidding. Yeah, do you like the rumba? <laughs> well, let's face it, Jack, I'm getting a little old for the rumba. Oh, let's face it, Bert, you're a little too old for the minuet. <laughs> but uh, do you know how to do the rumba? What'd you say? I said, do you know how to do the rumba? The rumba is the last thing on my mind. Well, I happen to have an instructor backstage. I'd like to bring her out and have her show you a few steps. I'd like to see that. All right, Miss Poon. <laughs> Something like Kaiser made when Fraser wasn't looking. Well, Bert? Hi. You want this is my partner? Yes, this is the guy. Just you. a moment now, just a moment. The only practical way to learn how to do the rumba is to dance with a partner. Well, that's what I thought. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Are you ready, dear? Uh, 
Are you watching this? I can't take my eyes off it. <laughs> Again, dear. Hey. Are you, uh, watching the steps? Steps? Yes, the steps. What do you mean, steps? Are you watching where the feet go? Feet? Are they in it, too? <laughs> Certainly they're in it. Now, watch this. Wait a minute, Jack. <laughs> Please, don't... Jack! How did you learn to do such a good rumba? Well, when I was a kid, I had a loose seat on my bicycle. <laughs> hey, isn't that nice? <laughs> well, any questions? Is there any air conditioning in this joint? <laughs> Certainly is. Now, you run in the dressing room, and perhaps he'd like a little private lesson later. Private lesson for me? Jack, you well, sure child. treat me wonderful. Well, lesson. you're my friend. You know, when you come down to the program, I see that you get taken care of. Learn rumba lessons, the whole thing. Well, I'm very happy about it, and I, I'm awfully happy you had me back on the show. Again. Well, you know, I know you need the work, so I had you on. Now, listen, I do not need the work. Don't be sarcastic. You don't need the work. I do a lot of work. I'm working all the time. Are you kidding? The what? last time you worked was when you broke up that act you started with Pearl White. <laughs> You work. That's a lie. And the first, listen, I do not depend on you for a living. You don't? I've got a new racket. I worry for a living. I make money worrying. Now, I'll tell you what I mean. Now, for instance, if you shouldn't get any laughs on this show tonight, oh. instead of you worrying, I worry for you. Uh, for five dollars. I have three different worries. For five dollars, it's a small worry. I bite my nails. You understand? Just bite the nails. Yes. Now, the second worry, that's ten dollars. I get a little more excited, a little bit mad, and I right. walk up and down. Yeah. But the third one, I tear myself up. Yeah! How much is that third one? Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. Did you ever get any calls for a twenty-five dollar worry like that? Three days ago from Truman, after he made that speech. <laughs> I do it for me. Yeah. Well, um, to tell you the truth, yeah. all I have is five dollars. I got it in the dressing room. I'll give it to you because I could use a little worry. Well, what about? Well, you see, I'm going with a girl now, and I don't know whether she's married or not. And I'm worried about it, and I wish you'd do a little worrying for me. She's a very nice girl. I have a five dollar worry. It's the picture right there. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Bert. I only have five dollars. Bert, you could twenty five dollars. I only have five dollars. This one's on me. That's my wife. <laughs> Get out of here. Go on. the June Taylor dances and featuring Miss Shirley Dan.
deodorize your home, but you actually help insure it against harmful germs. Protect your family's health. Order Lysol, now on sale at your drugstore. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce a very fine and charming, talented young lady, a girl who changed. Well, where have you been? Where did you get that black eye? I won't tell you. It's none of your business. Well, don't be so fresh, or I might not introduce you to the movie actress that's coming out. Who are you going to introduce? Well, you've seen her in many a 20th Century Fox picture. She was the star of that wonderful picture called State Fair. Really? And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Vivian Blaine. Oh! Thank you so very much, Jackie, for those well, wonderful words of introduction. Oh, that's perfectly all right. Vivian, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Mr. Bert Wheeler. Bert, I want you to meet Vivian. Hello, Bert. Sweetheart, believe me when I tell you that you certainly are... Be oh. Bert, when I introduce you to someone, take a bow. Vivian, I want you to meet Bert. Bert, I want you to meet Vivian. How do you do, Bert? I don't know how you do it. Every time you... Isn't she pretty? Of Not course. from what I've seen of her. <laughs> Where did you get the black eye? Oh, honey, I will tell you, but I wouldn't tell him. All right. He just introduced me to a rumba teacher. She had me in the dressing room giving me a rumba lesson. That yeah. I'll tell me. The she Victrola, can... the music was good and loud. Yes. And her father walked in and smacked me right in the eye. Well, what did you do? I didn't do nothing. Now, don't stand there and tell me he just punched in the eye for doing nothing. I didn't do nothing. Well, why did he punch you in the eye? He was deaf and he couldn't hear the music. Are you going to get out of here? <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Vivian introduced a song called It Might As Well Be Spring and State Fair. And tonight on our show, she's going to introduce another brand new number called Orange Colored Sky. All right, honey. Thank you. I started 